Hello Wade Explorer, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are visiting the country of Côte d'Ivoire, some could refer to it as Ivory Coast. By the end of this video, for those of you who plan to visit, we should discuss with you some amazing places that you could visit while you plan a trip to this amazing African nation. Also, we shall talk you through the biography of this nation and give you some perspective so the next time you plan to visit, you will know before you enter the country. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. With regards to the Côte d'Ivoire, the Côte d'Ivoire, also known as Ivory Coast, is a tropical country in southern West Africa, on the Gulf of Guinea, in the North Atlantic uh, Ocean, bordered by, in the north, by Mali and also Burkina Faso, in the west by Liberia and Guinea, and also in the east by Ghana. The country, Ivory Coast, covers an area of just over 322,000 km square. Looking into perspective, it's slightly smaller than the country of Poland, or it's larger than the US state of New Mexico, looking at its stretches. Moving ahead, Côte d'Ivoire has a population of just over 26 million people. Capital city is Yamoussoukro, and the largest city and also de facto capital is Abidjan. Spoken languages are French, officially, and also languages of five principal language groups, which include the Dula, or the Diala, you can point that out, or the Baule, or the Boule, to put in French, Dan, and Ayin, and also the Senari. At about 40% of the populations are Muslims, just over 34% are Christians, and 25% practice traditional animist and also religious um, activities. Also, to looking at the background of this amazing African country, looking at Côte d'Ivoire, it has a close ties to France since independence in 1960. The development of cocoa production for export and foreign investment made Côte d'Ivoire one of the most prosperous of the West African states. However, this did not protect its country from a political turmoil. As of December 1999, the military coup, the first ever in Côte d'Ivoire history, overthrew the government. Junta leader, then Robert Gay, uh, blatantly uh, kind of reached elections held in 2000 and declared himself his winner. Popular protest forced him to step aside and brought Laurent Gbagbo into power. Iveran dissidents and disinfected members of the military uh, launched a third coup attempted in 2002. Rebel re rebels then forces claimed northern half of the country, and in January 2003, they've granted ministerial positions in the unity government under auspices of the Lima Masurcis Peace Accord. Also, power has changed hand for Bagbo, uh, from Bagbo then to uh, Alessan Watara at the moment. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Looking at those who plan to visit, Ivory Coast offers a variety. It is a transformative African nation. It has been one of the most advanced countries in terms of its infrastructure and development. It is most visited as well in the continent. It is having some basic challenges, but again, the country's infrastructure and the diversity looking at how we introduced with different groups of people living in the country has put Ivory Coast to be a country that you don't want to miss in visiting. At the moment, Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast is a beautiful seaside country of West Africa as we've explained. It has a rainforest and beaches and also French colonial legacy for those of you who want to know more. The country has beautiful architectural structure, iconic buildings, museums and forest mountains, marvelous beaches if you want to check those out. Ivory Coast has some virgin forest like uh, the primitive uh, Komeo National Park, the preserved Banco National Park and also Aboko Metro Game Reserve. As we've promised, these are some of the top places for you to visit while you are in Ivory Coast. Number one, you could visit the Komeo National Park. This national park is the biggest protected area in West Africa. This park is located in the Zanzan and the Savans district of the country. According to UNESCO, this national park is the world's heritage site. This site also has some unique types of animals and plants for sheer climate 
and you can also uh, watch beautiful rainforests with various animals in this particular area. The next place you could visit while you are in Ivory Coast is Notre Dame uh, de la Peur. The Colossal Cathedral is part of this African interior art. It looks like Rome's St. Peter's Basilica. Uh, for those of you who have ever been to Ivory Coast, this cathedral is very beautiful with full of artwork and Roman architecture. This church is situated in Yamasukuru city. You must also try to visit this cathedral because of its amazing architectural work and you don't want to miss it while you visit. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The next place you want to visit while you are in Ivory Coast is Mount Ninokun. The Mount Ninokun is a World Heritage Site. It is located in the southern part of the Thai National Park. The monument is not very high. It is just over 396 meters looking down the measurement high from the sea level. Uh, you can also walk the rough part and also around the mountain. If you are lucky then, you could see different animals like chimpanzee, bungos, forest buffaloes, snakes and different things like elephants. You also want to visit the Dekikata village. Some pronounce it as Dekikaha village. It's the northern side of the country. It is dry land. You can visit this village. The village is very terms of its resources poor but you can ignore the warm welcome of the villagers. They offer local food and drinks and very unique. The village can give you wonderful experience uh, without the noisy part in the city of bigger cities so the point out and you could experience the, the locals and also to enjoy what this particular African village could offer you. Moving ahead, the next place you want to visit while you are in Ivory Coast is Reserve Natural du Banco. When you visit Abidjan, just stop to this particular place. The place is an awesome place so to say. Lots of greenery. This place uh, we're talking about Reserve Natural de Bancur offer lots of different types of plants, green naturals and also places touch your soul. If you are lucky, you can meet the families of chimpanzees and also explore the, the horizon and also to see the transformative nature and how nature is in place with regards to the natural du banco. The next place that you want to check while you are in Ivory Coast is Jardin Botanique de Bingueville. It is a botanic garden of Bingueville to preserve different kinds of plants. It was made in 19, back then in 1904. The garden has various types of plant areas like palm areas, cheese space and also ambassador space, nursery areas and space Harry Conan Bedier. So to point out, there are many trees that have many different politicians and former ministers names. This area has a football ground and also picnic area. Visiting this place with your family or for your first time you as an individual will give you a wonderful experience and understanding as to the transformative nature as to how Ivory Coast takes human nature into perspective. The next place you want to visit also is the Musée National de Costume. It is a wonderful uh, museum located in the Komio district. It was an administrative and residential building of the colonial rules. They made Grand Basum, Aston capital of country at their time. You can also see some African French art collections and models and sculpturism and also museums. You can gather knowledge about the culture and history of Ivory Coast while you visit the Museum Natural de Costume. Another place you may want to visit is the Plateau. The plateau is a business area of Abidjan. The skyline and panoramic view is wonderful from the highest rise building if you check that out. The roads are busy in the day and time because most of the offices are here in this particular area. The plateau, which in the evening is quiet, you can enjoy the view from high rise buildings but careful that planning to eat something in the city as well. The city is like other African cities and that means that it could be noisy, crowdy and also, um, also having different challenges. But it's a beautiful place for those of you who have been to uh, Abidjan and you could explore this amazing African art. Moving ahead, another place you may want to visit is Le Cascades de Man. 
The waterfall, this wonderful waterfall, is beautiful scenery, beauty in the city of Man of Ivory Coast. It is in the western part of the country. It distants from uh, Tancun is a few hundred kilometers by road. The city is Man, the city of Man, to the point out, uh, its mountains like uh, Mount Tacun and also Mount Lamont de Man. Avoid also during dry season in visiting. So it's always a good place for you to check out when you plan to visit Ivory Coast. The last but not the least in our assessment for those of you who plan to visit the Ivory Coast is to go to Zoo National de Abidjan. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. This zoo is very lively. You can go there with, with families for those of you who plan to travel to Abizan in groups. You can also play with elephants and also find big carts, crocodiles, civets, turtles, snakes and different types of animals to see the African uh, nature. The exciting part is you can also watch popular cartoons and characters in animals and Timons and Pumba. This will give you a clear understanding as to the way the Ivorians have come to capture the National Museum de Abidjan, which is an interesting place for those who are planning to travel to Abidjan or Ivory Coast for the first time. The Zoo National could be an interesting place for you to check out for your next trip. Hopefully, we've been able to inform you with regards to Ivory Coast, some could call it um, Côte d'Ivoire. So in your next trip, hopefully our video is giving you a perspective as to the reason you should visit this amazing African nation. A transformative nature and one of the bustling cities in Africa, Abidjan. For now, thanks very much. If you've been to Abidjan before, we would like to hear from you. If you've never been there, we would like to know what you plan to do while you visit. Thank you so much for watching the Explorer. We are looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. Please like this video and share to your different network. Have a good day. Bye-bye.